Hawkeyes lost a, a precious part of our history yesterday with the passing of Jim Zabel. First and foremost, uh, just to, to everybody in the family, the immediate family, uh, so sorry for your loss. But to the, to the greater family, the Hawkeye family, uh, Jim touched three or four generations of, of Hawkeye fans and we're, we're absolutely going to miss him. He, uh, he had a passion for life. Uh, he had a passion for broadcasting, particularly WHO, and clearly he had a passion for the Hawkeyes. And, uh, he, he had his slogan, I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, that wasn't just a slogan. That's how he lived his life. And uh, there's no question we're going to miss him. I was editor-in-chief of the Daily Iowan when I was on the Iowa campus. Worked on WSUI, so I got a little taste of radio back in those days. But mainly I was a writer, and I went to Chicago as a script writer when I was 21 years old. And then I'd met uh, Jack Shelley, who was the revered uh, news director at WHO. And you've got to realize, back in those days, uh, radio was just kind of like a combination of radio and television together is today. I mean, it was big time stuff. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Hawkeye Basketball. Welcome to Carver Hawkeye Arena and welcome to Iowa versus Illinois. And Bobby Hansen, here we are once again. The most the emotional uh, game or games are the so-called Chris Street games. Remember 1993 when Chris was killed tragically and uh, Iowa didn't play for 10 days. They were downcast and you know, and, and I felt, golly, they can't get themselves together to play a game, but they went up 10 days later and played a game at East Lansing, Michigan that'll go down in history. They were down by 17 points with Val Barnes and all those guys hitting threes, uh, came out to win it, and then two days later came right back here at Carver Hawkeye and beat the number one team in the country, Michigan, by eight points. That had to be the most emotional. Uh, you know, just so many teams and so many events, because basketball itself, is a game that uh, every game is exciting in one way or another. I mean, the close finishes, big victories, unexpected uh, upsets and so forth, uh, beating Purdue the other night, outscoring them 50 to 21 in the last half. I mean, those are all thrills. But emotionally, those Chris Street games, uh, I would say, are just indelibly stamped in my brain. Wild melee developing underneath there. Woolridge all the way down underneath as he feeds off underneath the Bowen, and Bowen is fouled. I think your style, I didn't try to copy anybody. Bill Stern, Ted Husing, uh, the great sports announcers of today. I just kind of evolved. I got at the game and I suddenly realized, and I often say coaches deal in X's and O's, athletic directors deal in programs, and the fan deals in emotion. And I kind of represent the fan at the game. I get very excited, I get into the thing. Uh, there's no question about that. So that became my style. It wasn't a it wasn't a conscious thing, really, that, uh, but I'm, I, I talk about the same off as I do on, except you're describing something, you're, you're more in a framework there. It's a three from the top, they love the men's I'll miss, I'll miss working with those people. And, you know, I miss being around the athletes, love to travel the athletes. And people say, do you realize, uh, do you think in terms of having done this for 48 or 49 years? I said, you know, as a matter of fact, you don't, because even though you are constant and going for 48 or 49 years. The athletes, uh, they all stay the same age. I mean, they're all between 18 and 22. And the guys I covered back in 1945 were all between 18 and 22. And I think it keeps you young, it really does.